Hi everybody, I'm Weird Heather. Welcome to another video. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to a very handy tool for when you are first starting out with flexibility training. This is the Humble Dressing Gown Belt. Doesn't have to be one of those, you could buy a fancy strap if you wanted to, or you could use a stretch band, just anything that's going to help you extend your reach a little bit. The first one is for shoulder stretching. It is called the, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is the official name, but I learned it as the shoulder dislocator. Don't worry, it's not as painful as it sounds. You get your belt behind you like so. You grab one end and keeping your arm straight, you bring it up and down towards the front of you. So you're probably gonna need it quite wide, especially to start with. The closer your hands are together on this belt, then the harder it's going to be, the more it's going to hurt. And you just do this a few times. If you're finding this too easy, then you can move your hands a little closer together, make it more difficult. Ah, yeah, that's definitely more difficult now. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit painful. Another one that is good for helping with your shoulder mobility. If you put your arms behind you, your fingers should be pointing away from you at this point. Then scoot your bum down whilst keeping your hands in the same position this is going to feel a little bit like your arms being pulled out of their sockets obviously don't go too far to the point of pain but this helps to stretch out all of um, your arms and just helps with your shoulder mobility another one that you can do is if you raise your hand behind your head grab hold of your elbow and just pull try and tug it as far as you can comfortably you don't have to go this far if you can only go here comfortably that's fine but just do whatever you can do that is a good stretch for you you should feel that all in the outside of your arm then of course you want to do the same on your other side so take that up and pull that one as well <sighs> who says that stretching has to be relaxing and not torture <laughs> on to the next move turn around for this one so you reach one arm up in between your shoulder blades then fold up your other arm to meet this and you just sort of interlock your fingers there if you can and just chill out and just get a nice stretch you may find that when you do this with your other arm that it has a different level of flexibility it may be harder or easier um, this is quite natural to have um, imbalances sometimes um, obviously you might want to, to uh, do more stretching on the more inflexible side to sort of try and even things out a little for example um this way is my most difficult way see i can out barely um, touch my fingers here this definitely feels a lot more awkward for me on this side which basically means i just need to practice more if you can't even touch your fingers what you can do you can take your strap that you had earlier and you can grab that and you can use that to assist your stretch it just widens your reach a little bit and enables you to get a decent stretch so the stretches we're going to attempt now require the use of a wall or a door something like that so we're going to do that now so basically you're going to be standing 
maybe a foot from the wall i don't know just a decent level to allow you to hinge from the hips put your hands above your head and then we're going to stretch it down you can adjust your feet as much as you need so that you can feel that stretch up there in your upper shoulders how deep you go into the stretch will determine exactly how much of the shoulders and mid back you are able to reach this can be quite painful but it is an excellent stretch for those who spend eight hours at a desk every day like i do so that is a very very nice stretch for that so we've stretched our back out one way so it's good to just make sure we stretch it the other way just to prevent any aches in the morning come up like this and we're just going to roll back and pull your knees gently into your body this is just going to stretch out your spine the other way and prevent you from feeling too sore tomorrow and of course good old favorite finish in child's pose if you just have your legs just slightly apart sit on them lean forward stretch out with the arms and rest your forehead on the floor if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up please subscribe if you like these videos we wouldn't want you to miss out on anything and don't forget to comment I am awesome if you are still watching now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.